coming in from the waiting room. We're going to just get started here in just a couple of seconds. Uh, give us just a second to make sure everybody get in. Hi, Jennifer. I see you. Well, I mean, I don't see you, but I see your name. Uh, for everybody out there on the feed, sometimes I might call some people out. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer is a fellow NASA JPL Solar System Ambassador. I'm so excited to see you and your little kids, man. Look at that hair. <laughs> And we've got feedback. Sorry. Hey, Deepak here. All right. Good morning. Can you hear me? Hi. It's good to see you. Yep, we can hear you. But, uh, but don't worry about that because this game is going to be mostly done uh, just with the click of your mouse. So uh, anybody who doesn't want to have a camera on today, you don't need to have it on. And it'll be just fine. So uh, only the hosts will actually be doing the talking during this. Uh, we're going to call it a game show today because I want to. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, Brenda and Thomas, can you guys actually also see the waiting room? Yes. Okay, uh, if you guys will also keep an eye on that, just so I don't miss anybody um, who comes in a little bit late, we're going to go ahead and get started. So good morning uh, or afternoon. I don't know where everybody is. But, uh, welcome to ISS Trivia. And thanks for having your coffee or juice with us or dinner, uh, late night snack, depending on where you are. Um, I'm C. Oliver. I'm the Visitor and Science Center Manager at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory, and that's part of the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory at the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Hi, and I'm Thomas Quell. I'm an Education Program Specialist for Clark Planetarium and Elite Presenter for Star Parties at the Snowboard uh, Resorts in Salt Lake City, Utah. Hi, and I'm Brenda Hutner. I uh, run a microwave engineering website with... Uh, uh, and I'm also a NASA Solar System Ambassador, which, as I hope many of you have learned, means we volunteer for NASA and we do education and public outreach and share our own love of science with the communities we live in. Great. Thanks so much, Brenda. So, you know, Thomas and I, uh, and I mentioned to everybody that Jennifer is also a NASA JPL Solar System Ambassador. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let uh, Desiree in here into the room. Uh, so uh, you guys today, uh, oh, you know, I cheated and I took over Thomas's moment here. So I'm going to shut up and let him talk for a second. No, it's okay. I, I was just checking to make sure that we are still uh, good for lunch. Uh, so don't forget that at 3.22 p.m. Eastern time, Astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley will make a second go to launch America, and you can watch that live on NASA's YouTube channel. Great. Thank you so much for double checking. So it sounded to me um, a little bit earlier like we're only at 50% go um, right now. Is that right? Brenda, I think I heard that from you. Yes. Um, that weather's a little sketchy. Yep. Okay. So um, everybody cross your fingers. Hush your fingers and blow. And get everybody go outside and blow, you know, uh, to the to the west if you're on the west coast and to the east if you're on the east coast. Get the clouds away. It's <laughs> um, beautiful not the here, work. so we're not the problem. The problem. <laughs> so, okay, well, Jennifer, it's good to know you guys aren't the problem, but you're going to have to find out for us who is the problem. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so you guys, once Bob and Doug launch into space, they're headed for the ISS, where they're going to spend 10 days on the Demo-2 mission. So this morning, that's why we're doing ISS trivia, in case you hadn't um, picked up on why we were doing that. And so if you're here with us live on Zoom, you'll have a chance to win awesome prizes. I'm going to show you what some of those look like. I've got some pretty cool stuff hiding out uh, in, I call this my NASA closet. Right, so I've got these cool space launch system stickers. Actually, I am a rocket scientist. Ooh, it's disappearing into my background. Um, I have some great stuff from the James Clerk Maxwell East Asian Observatory. There's some good friends out there in Hawaii who sent me stickers and pens and all sorts of great stuff. I've got New Horizons stickers. Okay, look, 
lots of stickers, um, and including ISS uh, stickers. And I've got this great, uh, for those of you who haven't seen one of these before, these are limited edition NASA JPL uh, solar system astronomy trading cards. What's going on over here is I'm making a mess in my office. So uh, it's the of trading cards. You get this full set. Um, and then uh, I also have these rather nifty, they're just gone. It's just gone. I don't know what's happening. This awesome poster of the ISS um, that you guys can't see because it's just appearing into my background. There we go. Got it. Ah. Uh, of the ISS shown over a football field. So you can see the uh, the size of the ISS and the crowning gift that nobody ever seems to be able to get a hold of. But I snagged a bunch of these. Uh, NASA to the bags. I know, I see Jennifer's really excited. I want to see some more excitement. I feel like Robert and Deepak need some coffee. I can see you guys, and you're just not that excited about this tote bag. Okay, so, uh, and uh, by the way, there's some other stuff uh, going uh, going in this tote bag. So the people who win the grand prize today, so if you answer all 10 questions correctly, um, there's a grand prize in it for you. These are hard questions, by the way. So for each question, we actually have a poll for you today. So you won't be answering it out loud, um, and you don't need to use the raise your hand feature here. Uh, You're going to need it at the end. So uh, don't get distracted because you do have to answer all 10 questions to win. Um, and if nobody gets all 10 right, guess what? I'm really nice and I get it. And I wrote these questions and I know how hard they are. And Thomas and Brenda have seen them. They know how hard they are. So uh, how about we say whoever gets the most questions right <laughs> wins the prize. It doesn't matter where you are. So uh, we do have some people joining from overseas today and doesn't matter, it's gonna be shipped to you from the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory, so uh, you can still access your prizes anyway. And for everyone who didn't know, we actually have um, the capability for 57 countries to sign in. So if you're watching us on YouTube right now, but you want to become a part of this, you can log in on your computer from anywhere and you can call in from 57 different countries. I mean, from, from Ada, I think it was B because the last one was Vietnam, okay? so. And so if you're out there and you want to participate, make sure that you register for the Zoom. Uh, if you're on YouTube, that link to register is there and you can go ahead and, and hop in here with us right now. So uh, you're, oh, I forgot to mention the one big thing. You only have 10 seconds to uh, answer the question. So make sure that your cat and Jennifer, your kids, <laughs> everybody's paying attention. I definitely will have a cat interrupt uh, because I'm a very needy cat who's a camera ham. Uh, so you guys can all expect for that to cause a disruption at some point. But so we're going to go ahead and get rolling. Thomas, why don't you start us off? All right. So there are many different types of man-made objects orbiting the Earth. And you may have heard of their orbits. We have high Earth orbit, medium Earth orbit, low Earth orbit, and geostationary orbit. Can you guess how high in miles above the Earth the ISS is orbiting? Okay, so the polling has launched. Go ahead and give us your best answer. All right. I only see three answers in here, you guys. I'm going to give you a couple extra seconds uh, just in case some people are not seeing that quite yet. Uh, so we're, we're cheating. We're giving you guys 30 seconds to answer because I want to see we have, we have, you know, 13 people in here. I want to see everybody answer this question. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got eight people have answered so far. I know you guys want to keep answering. If you're out there, go ahead and uh, hurry up and answer the question because uh, we're about to hit end and Thomas is going to give us the answer. All right, so first, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what everybody thought. And I might sneeze because I'm allergic to the deserts. So, um, so you guys can see what you all thought. So 13% uh, of you think 130 mile. Uh, I'm actually going to let Thomas take this over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I can, uh, you can see the results right there. If you were one of the ones who guessed roughly 220 miles, you are correct. The International Space Station operates in low Earth orbit and pretty low for LEO as well, uh, which can extend up to 1,200 miles from the Earth's surface. Thomas, that's pretty high. Like, and, and this thing is going really fast too, by the way, you guys. 
Uh, the ISS is orbiting around Earth at roughly 17,150 miles per hour. That's five miles per second. But what I want to know, and you guys have to uh, bear with me here because I, I am the, uh-oh, I got we're on full question one. We don't want full question one. We want full question two. What I <laughs> thanks for understanding our technical difficulties. Question Everyone one, gets to experience what it's like. Question <laughs> one, question but, uh, one, yeah, exactly. It, it's not going to be question one again. I promise. So, uh, how often guys, does the ISS see a sunrise? That's what we want to know right now. Yes. ISSC and sunrise. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we've given you guys, again, I'm cheating, giving you guys a little more time to answer. So we're going to go ahead and stop that one. Only 75% of you voted. Remember, I get the most questions right to win the prizes today. So, but everybody, <laughs> which makes me really proud, yeah. everybody said uh, yeah, okay. 92 minutes. And yeah. if you said 92 minutes, you are right. The ISS <laughs> completes about 15 to 16 revolutions of Earth each day. Uh, so that's why you're getting those 15 to 16 uh, sunrises. Cool. So the ISS. And, uh, Brenda goes on to our next question. Okay. Sorry, uh, before Brenda goes on to our next question, you guys to please keep yourselves muted uh, during the game, uh, unless you have a question that you need to ask uh, or you're having a problem, okay? Uh, just to make sure that everybody can hear and everybody knows what's going on. And go ahead, Brenda. Okay, well, the ISS is pretty big. It's about 108, a little over 108 meters long. Save everybody the answer. Okay. Everybody gets a freebie. It's okay. Keep going, Brenda, but everybody gets a freebie because I had a technical error. <laughs> All right. Well, the question is, um, how much does the ISS weigh? Um, it's mm -hmm. about the yeah, size sorry, of we're the football gonna... field. Nope. One more. Uh, sorry. It's, it's a little slow over here. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. You guys, this is also my first time running trivia on a Zoom. And look, everybody was paying attention. I love it. That's the real yeah, purpose yes, of the question. Yes, everyone, right? yeah, everyone, uh, everyone on this Zoom should get right because I gave you the answer. <laughs> All right, so we're going to end that. Um, and of course, so we see everybody selected 450 tons. So take it away, Brenda. Well, that's correct, 450 tons. Imagine. Um, so that's about the, you know, it's about the weight of 450 small cars, right? It's pretty big and pretty heavy. Good job, everyone. <laughs> All right. I promise I'm going to try really hard not to do that again. <laughs> All right. So, I have, have my weedy. I uh, want to go ahead and take some, uh, take a look at, uh, back at some of the history that made those facts possible. Sound good? Good. Sure, let's do that. All right, so the ISS was started by a cohort of 15 nations as a base for space-based research, but other nations also send astronauts to the space station to do research. Which one of these space agencies has sent astronauts to the International Space Station? This is a hard one. <laughs> Guys, we've got one one answer, two two answers. Come on, everybody, let's go. 
Everybody answer the question. I'm not allowed to. I know the answer. <laughs> I, but, yeah, I know. I know you know the answer. You're looking at it. Um, <laughs> at least this time I didn't show it to everybody. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and end, end that. So sorry to anybody who missed that. So, okay. All right. Just looking over some of the, our the answers here. And hey, not too bad. If you guess all of the above, you are right. Uh, actually, as of April 2020, there have been 240 individuals from 18 different countries that visited the space station. So that's a pretty good amount. That is uh, pretty exciting. And you know, Thomas, so today, uh, with today's launch, um, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley are about to make history as the first US astronauts to launch since the conclusion of the shuttle program in 2011. So they will be the first US astronauts to launch from US soil. So for that clarification, since 2011, okay? But, and this picture should really give it away to anybody who knows their picture history with the oranges uh, at NASA. Um, but I wanna know who was the first US astronaut on the ISS. Hmm. Thomas, don't act like you don't know the answer. <laughs> You're over there scratching your chin. <laughs> Everyone knows it was. Our co host. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Give everybody a, a couple more seconds. Uh, we've got just a, a few more people out there who can still vote. So you guys, you definitely, definitely go ahead and take a vote. Um, I've been giving you guys a lot more time than I said. I promised 10 seconds. I'm going to give you guys like 30 to 40 seconds. I know you can do this. <laughs> so everybody who is not a host, go ahead and vote. All right. So we're going to end that. All right. So it looks like we've got 60% uh, of you. Uh, getting this question right, uh, because if you picked Bill Shepard, then you know that he launched to the ISS in November, excuse me, actually on October 31st of 2000, and he arrived at the ISS in November 2000 and spent several months aboard the spaceship, the spaceship. <laughs> you guys, I need to go have some coffee. Space Station uh, with Roscosmos cosmonauts uh, Yuri Gudzenko and uh, Sergei Krikalev. Yeah, yeah. All right. Somebody save me, Brenda. Save oh, me. Uh, so, that's, so we you mentioned that um, the ISS has been around for quite a while, but we're coming up on a big anniversary. So the question becomes. What anniversary will the ISS celebrate 155 days from now? Mm, this is a tough one. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see what everybody says. I'm a bit teeter. I want everybody to win. I want to I want to clean out my uh, NASA closet, you guys. So everybody needs to win. <laughs> All right. So it looks like everyone has. Uh, oops, there we go. Oh, oh, oh! We almost have all twelve of you answering. One more. Who's out there that hasn't answered yet? Come on. Do it. No. Okay. We gave you a chance. <laughs> Excellent. So if you said 20 years, that's correct. So that's most of you. Um, it celebrated the 20th anniversary as a space station on November 20th, 2018, um, because we broke ground on that date in 1998. However, Bill Shepard launched, as we've already said, in 2000 and docked with the ISS a day later. So the 20th anniversary of the working space station uh, is coming up in November. We'll have to, we should do some other events for then too, right? I think so. We have to. 
I, I mean, because we need a second go at this. I, I feel like this is like the test game show, and I need another shot. Maybe one of you should host that but, <laughs> and be in charge of the polling. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm, uh, I, I do better with the star party uh, hosting. Uh, I got a very nice compliment for that. Um, but uh, this has been a little more, more technical difficulties, more buttons to push, more things to go wrong. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. Shall we move on? Let's. We've got it. We've got more I questions. I think so. Well. <laughs> all right. So <clears throat> even though astronauts have been on the space station since the year 2000, that doesn't mean it was fully constructed. In what year was the space station considered a finished product? And no one can answer it. There we go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> we will get there. And now we're there. Again, everybody's answering. Nice job, everybody. Great. Okay. We're going to end that. There you go. All right. Let's take a look and see what our results are. Whoa, that was really, really close. Uh, there were 58% that voted for 2011. And if you said 2011, you really know your International Space Station history. Uh, the space station uh, was constructed between 1998 and 2011, which just happens to coincide with the end of the space shuttle program. Hmm. Oh, well, you know, Thomas, despite the end of the shuttle program, U.S. astronauts have continued to visit the ISS, and some of them have even made history while on the station. So in 2015, Scott Kelly became the NASA astronaut <clears throat> to have the most cumulative days in space. No, I'm sorry, not the most cumulative days in space, the most continuous days in space. Sorry, I had to think about that one for a second. Um, that record was broken in 2016 by Jeff Williams and in 2017 by Peggy Whitson. I'm going to back up and tell you guys again, it is cumulative days in space, and I'm having a rough morning. I need to go find some coffee on the next question. But <laughs> what I want to know today, and it's confusing, and we're going to talk about this more in just a second, because there are continuous days in space and cumulative days in space. But what I want to hear from you guys is which NASA astronaut currently holds the record for most cumulative days in space. Is it Christina Koch, Scott Kelly, Peggy Whitson, or Doug Hurley. Guys, I also want to tell you, I wrote all these questions and uh, I'm, I'm messing them up. So it's kind of a funny morning. <laughs> we should have slept in an extra hour. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna give you guys just another few seconds. We have someone joining us just a little bit late to the game, so I'm going to repeat the keep yourself on mute unless you have a problem or a question. Um, and please go ahead and try to answer that poll right away because we're going to close it in just a few seconds here. All right. So good thing nobody said Doug Hurley. He's our astronaut, actually. Uh, he's one of the astronauts going up to the ISS, hopefully today. But uh, for those of you, we got about 42% saying Christina Koch, and I'm going to tell you, uh, Christina doesn't yet hold uh, one of those records. And Scott Kelly, uh, we have a few people, Scott Kelly, so Scott Kelly actually um, does still hold the record for the longest single space flight at 340 days. And he is followed by Christina Koch on that side at 328 days and Peggy Whitson at 289 days. But if you said Peggy Whitson for this question, then you're right. Because, I'm going to just get that over there. As of April 16th of 2020, Peggy Whitson still holds the NASA record for cumulative space days at 
665 total days in space. She's followed by Jeff Williams at 534 days and by Scott Kelly at 520 days. Cool. All right, one more question. This is the last question. So we hope everybody answers. Ready? So the ISS, they don't just hang out up there and make records, though we love it when they do. It can host up to 250 investigations at one time. Uh, they research Earth, the biospheres, life as we know it, life as we don't, all kinds of things going on. So how many investigations have occurred on the ISS as of their last report? That time I did it right. <laughs> Any one of those would be a really huge number. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, right? Yeah, any of them. Just if you think about it, since they just had their their 20th anniversary, so they have the 20th anniversary in November of people being up there to do science, just think about how many that is per year. You know, I mean, that's over 100 um, per year that, that they're completing um, on the space station, which is really, really cool. Um, it's really awesome. So it looks like we've got everybody. Cool. Alrighty, well, if you selected 2,775, that is correct. So um, I know a lot, I see a lot of people guess, but it was a close, another really close battle here. But the correct answer is 2,775, um, which is, as we've just said, an awful lot of experiments. And if you, even if you do it over uh, 20 years, that's still a lot per year. Um, so congratulations to the people who got that one right. I, I see some faces. I'm scrolling through some of the videos over here and I see some, some, why are the questions so hard? <laughs> oh, it's multiple guys, choice. And that's kind of the idea, right? Yeah, it is. It's multiple choice, but they are, they're, they're hard questions. Um, and, and I think that's what's really exciting uh, about this, this experiment, but uh, this experiment in trivia uh, for the day. So you guys actually did notice we have some people who are tied neck and neck today. Ooh. So hey, I do have Thomas, one more I think we need it. Tiebreaker. I think we need it. I think we've got to right. have it. All right. Well, since we just Especially talked about- I accidentally <laughs> deleted everybody's answers to that one question. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, everybody gets that freebie. <laughs> all right. So since we we're just talking about all those investigations, my question to you is how many countries or areas represent those 2,775 investigations? Uh, I guess I should pull up the question, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you want people to answer it. <laughs> Let's see what everybody says. Two of 14. Come on. We're almost up. We're so close. Come on, guys. Oh, you 13, can do 13. it. One more. One more. Who's out there that's just watching? That one last Click the button. button. Somebody else who still needs a cup of coffee too. I uh, <laughs> I, clearly somebody needs a cup of coffee out there. <laughs> Maybe right. that's what I should send out as prizes. <laughs> Make sure it's sealed. <laughs> I will. <laughs> not, not wet coffee, I'll send coffee grounds packaged. Okay. <laughs> All what right, uh, so looking off? over, <laughs> uh, looking over the answers here, and uh, if you said 108, you got it, and you just might be the winner of a prize pack today. So there have been a total of 108 countries or areas that have been involved uh, with the International Space Station through uh, investigations, and uh, 
just because we have the number of investigations, sometimes there are multiple people involved with that. And that represents the research of over 4,022 different investigators. So it's a lot of work going on up there. That is super exciting. And you know what's really exciting? We have more than one winner today, but what, what I wanna hear is everybody out there, if you know um, that you got them all right, uh, I want to see a thumbs up. So you go uh, choose the thumbs up on your Zoom screen. So you should be able to do that uh, near the bottom. You should have reaction tab. Um, so if you know you got them all right, um, go ahead and hit that reaction tab. So of course, Thomas knows that he got them all right. Um, <laughs> Just trying to help. He's going to do that. So I want to see. I, I know somebody out there got them all right. I saw it. So... So I think we had somebody uh, just say that, but a couple, nobody's saying that they got them all right, but I know someone out there did. So um, I can see it, but I, don't, I can't call out who it is until I download the report. <laughs> but that's okay, um, because what we're gonna do is uh, after, after we're all gone today, I'm gonna go ahead and download and verify. I see somebody giving me a check mark. That's also good, a check mark, but I don't know who gave that to me. So uh, in any case, uh, <laughs> it did not tell me who annotated that check mark. So the point is I'm gonna download and verify who our winners were today uh, for how many people got the most right. And what I'll do is I'll reach out to you via email uh, to let you know that you have won one of our big prize packs. So thank you so much to everybody who came out today. Make sure you're checking your email because I need you to respond to that email um, in the next few days. So I'll send those out by Monday. And then I really would like you to respond to those by Friday so we can get your prize packs in the mail. Um, mail is running a little bit slower right now. So I don't want you waiting uh, four or five weeks uh, to get your prize pack. Um, if you won and you were outside the United States, that will come to you uh, via FedEx or DHL. So we'll figure out how to get that to you. Um, don't worry about it. We have all the means, uh, all the different shipping companies to do that. And to everybody who came out today, thank you so much for joining us. A big shout out to Brenda and Thomas uh, for their excellent co-hosting skills and all their patience in my technological uh, hmm, fails. We'll just call them fails. It's okay. Tech fails happen. We all know. I'm going to call it a weather fail. <laughs> uh, so I have taken today's weather fail, which means the launch will go as planned. <laughs> there you go. Uh, thank you so thank much, you. Thomas and Brenda. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks to everybody who came. <laughs> it's been bye. Fun. Thanks. Bye. Peace.